In meantime, pro-Palestinian protests continue on college campuses. This is across the nation, okay. too. At UCLA, police dismantling an encampment a day after protesters clashed with police last night. And in New York, police also removing tents with more than 150 people arrested on City College's campus last night. A social media post circulating on University of Texas's campus showing protests have been postponed until the weekend. And as you know, we have seen these protests here on South Florida's campus. This was the scene yesterday. This time last night, police shutting down a protest, arresting nearly a dozen people. And some of these arrested appeared in a Hillsborough County courtroom. Tonight, the university tells us its focus is on safety and security at graduation. Ten Tampa Bay's Angelicia Bruton joining us live. Angelicia, that protest, protest is just off campus tonight. You're right near the entrance to the university. That's right, Courtney. Protesters are starting to gather right now. And this afternoon, three pro protesters appeared in court. They all received bond, and the judge ordered them not to contact the university. USF says two of those protesters were students. Israel out of Palestine! Protests at the University of South Florida ended in chaos on Tuesday. The USF police office arrested several people who failed to disperse. If you're out here peacefully pro protesting, why should you need shields and umbrellas? Some behind bars are USF staff and students and people USF say are not related to the university, like Jack Geffen. Geffen telling us this just moments before arrests were made. This is a beautiful, beautiful movement in a time of terror and genocide. Geffen is booked on misdemeanor and felony complaints. He appeared in court along with Emmanuel Atmosfera and Leonardo Tolelli. Courtney Benson represented him. I do believe that the protesters intent was to remain peaceful. The officers came in and gave demands allegedly to um, disperse and I don't believe that based on the crowd there that they heard or were reasonably able to heed to those demands by the officers. At this time, please consider yourself under arrest for refusing to disperse. Police gave a 15 minute warning telling protesters they would be subject to tear gas and rubber bullets if they did not leave. Courtney Benson represented students who appeared Wednesday as well. She says her plan is to file a motion giving students access to the university. USF has not said if students who are arrested are now expelled. And I think that that's the goal of the protesters is to make noise and be heard and gain attention for the causes that they're fighting for. Angelicia, USF's commencement ceremonies, those start up tomorrow. Do we know if USF plans to add more security to these events because of the protests? Yeah, the university says there has been an increase in law enforcement presence throughout this whole week, and that's going to continue through the commencement ceremonies. Live in Tampa, Angelicia Bruton, 10 Tampa Bay.